Hi everybody on YouTube, this is Idealo Repair. Today tutorial is about to repair the power button on an iPad Touch 4th generation. As you see, this is the one with the front camera. Also, there is another problem here in this iPad, which is that the home button doesn't respond. I can be clicking here all night long and nothing. And also here, and nothing respond. So, um, here uh, there is a, a way to fix it, but um, which is the power button. But um, right here, uh, in this case, it doesn't respond, but there is a click. Um, I'm going to be ending replacing the flex cable. So, um, let's begin. And also, um, uh, this video it will be in Spanish as well. So, I'll, I'll be using my poor English and my poor Spanish. So uh, let's begin. Hola a todos, este es uh, Idealo Repair. En esta ocasión vamos a arreglar el problema del uh, botón del eh, encendido, del apagado y encendido. Este no responde para nada. Y ni además el botón de menú. Um, hay una manera de arreglar este problema en el botón de apagado y encendido, pero en el botón de menú uh, aunque puedo sentir que hay un clic, desafortunadamente uh, no está respondiendo. Y así es de que uh, vamos a reemplazar lo que es el, el botón y más que todo el flex, el flex de el botón de menú. Uh, so, this iPod is only... Um, you can only have access um, if you connect the USB through the computer, the USB cable, and also uh, when you charge it. Other than that, there is no access on it. Unfortunately, yeah, there is no access. All right, so, um, como ustedes pudieron ver, en, en este iPod no hay ningún acceso, desafortunadamente, porque ninguno de los dos uh, botones principales, lo que es el power button, y el, pa, el, la, la, el, el botón de menú no responden absolutamente nada. Así de que vamos a empezar. Um, as you guys see in one of my videos, uh, there's a way how to get uh, the screen, um, the LCD screen digitizer without damaging anything. So uh, the only way to um, open it is to, to put heat around these areas and be careful not to put heat on this area because this is where we have the LCD so como ustedes pudieron ver en algunos de mis videos anteriormente hay una manera para poder abrir el screen digitizer so uh, hay que poner calor en estas secciones pero no hay que poner calor en lo que es en medio porque aquí es donde está el LCD so tengamos mucho cuidado pues vamos a empezar well, let's begin, everybody. I will use my uh, heat gun to, uh, like I said um, before, to put heat around here, and that way I will. It will be easy for me to remove the uh, LCD screen digitizer. So, um, uh, in este momento, voy, lo que voy a hacer es poner calor alrededor. En algunos de mis videos anteriormente, pues ustedes ya lo vieron cómo yo lo hago. Refiéranse a ellos, por favor. So, vamos a empezar.
Let's try not to put too much pressure on it. Intentemos no poner demasiada presión. Poco a poco. Well, it seems like this uh, iPod has been um, fixed before. I can tell for this, and uh, they did a pretty good job. But probably that they uh, messed up with um, the flex uh, from the home uh, from the home button or the home key. So we will find the problem. So, como ustedes pueden ver, posiblemente el iPod ya había sido abierto anteriormente. So, vamos a encontrar los problemas. So next thing for me right here is to remove this uh, middle plate um, and uh, I will do it carefully and please uh, try to do exactly what I do and that way you're not going to uh, uh, have any problem when you do it yourself. Intente hacer la manera um, como yo lo hago al quitar esta placa de en medio para que usted no tenga problemas. So um, now we have all these screws removed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Ocho uh, tornillos que hemos removido. Um, ahora vamos a remover la placa en sí. So now we will remove the whole plate. As you see, as I'm um, using this um, tool, I will just start from here trying to pop up this and what you do is just slowly and gently you just put this inside because underneath there is the, uh, the speaker for the iPad. Si usted lo hace muy delicadamente hágalo uh, de esta manera como yo lo estoy haciendo delicadamente porque abajo está lo que es el speaker. Uh, la bocinita, okay? So then we're just gonna go like this right here. Then we jump through this. Like this. De esta manera. So it seems like a, a few people, they have problems when um, they try to fix this or pull this up. Let's do it very careful. And what I do, it's uh, uh, I try to uh, pull this corner up through this, through, through me, so that way uh, nothing is going to damage but before that we have to remove this little uh, plate right here 
and actually this is like a, a like a chill vamos a remover este um, chill que se encuentra aquí uh, right on top of the camera and also cuando ustedes levanten esto háganlos hacia uno mismo uh, primeramente lo levantamos de acá y luego lo lo traemos para acá Just little by little. All right. So don't put too much pressure. It was uh, through me first and then like this, up and up, little by little. So de esta manera, un poquito para hacia el lado nuestro y poco a poco para arriba. So de aquí, lo vamos a empujar hacia el lado izquierdo. Para que no se rompa lo que es el chill este que lleva acá que es como de cobre so from here what we're gonna do is pull it all the way up and uh, little by little we will we'll go like this that way we're not gonna damage we're not gonna damage this uh, piece right here all right now we have this uh, middle plate removed so um, I will uh, uh, put a stop right here in this video and I will continue uh, with my second video vamos a dejar una pausa y voy a continuar en otro video la segunda parte